You may know the phrase, you are what you eat, and that phrase is even more important when it comes to kids' health, especially when they and parents are getting back into the school routine. What we're providing for our kids and nutrition are building blocks. Building blocks for development and growth, says Sandy Kipp, who became a dietitian for her son's own nutritional health and now helps people and children get the best food for their body. She also says that when it comes to food, simplicity is best. Simplicity in that that if you can recognize the food and it sounds like, oh, I think that that's something that's <laughs> healthy, that's, you know, that's a great rule of thumb to go by. If, you know, you're looking at some lunch meat and it's made out of turkey, water, and salt, super great. But if it's turkey, water, and salt, and then five other added ingredients that you can't even pronounce, probably stay away from those types of foods as well. Avoiding processed foods and added chemicals is the best route for a healthy kid, and there are clever ways to get them to enjoy better food. You know, making foods fun sometimes is really great for kids. So, you know, getting a celery stick and putting the, the nut butter on there and putting, you know, the raisins on top and calling it ants on a log or doing like a, a fruit skewer can be really fun and having different things in there. Local parents we spoke with see the importance of getting nutritional foods to kids Heather Terry helps run a community garden in Caldwell and is passing this trend to the next generation. I grew up where my dad had a big garden for us, so we knew where our food came from. We knew what it take to, take care, to take care of it to make sure it's watered, and that's what I wanted for my kids too. Retired family doctor Paul McConnell also helps with this garden. He says giving fresh fruits and vegetables are important for healthy kids and a long life. We all need that. and. That's one of the reasons I'm, I'm going to be 79 years old tomorrow and I'm still able to play golf and work in the garden. Isaiah Sharp, Idaho News 6.